Okay, so I'm back with another video here. I have this op opportunity, a little bit of time. I will share this video, but before I get into into that, I'll just share uh, uh, something else, uh, a, a small little detail about myself, uh, especially in light of what has happened recently in uh, East Palestine, Ohio. So I'm actually sitting here uh, recording this uh, in East Palestine, Ohio, and really why am I bringing this up I, I, I just want to say uh, you know I'm, I'm kind of from this area uh, it's been really uh, hard on the the community best I can tell and, and talking with it, you know individuals as far as what has happened here recently with a train derailment and um, yeah I, I, I just wanted to kind of come back and uh, see how things are going uh, personally and and so and really thought about what else to say beyond that, um, but but it is a sad event. Uh, I, if anyone is out there that wants to provide any sort of uh, donation or support to the community, I'm sure you can look up uh, organizations um, that will ensure uh, uh, you know any donations or uh, support that you want to get to East Palestine, Ohio. I'm sure they will make that happen. So, okay. Well, with that, like I said, I had a moment here. I have a uh, the micro microphase Ant SDR E200 set up, networked in to a uh, Dragon OS uh, Focal X machine here. And what I've what I've done is uh, went down. Uh, you can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi in the bottom um, right hand area there. If I right click on that little uh, symbol of Wi-Fi you'll see you can get to edit connections and what I've done is I've got to edit connections and then I have specifically selected my Ethernet uh, well what would be the equivalent of my Ethernet wired configuration and I went in and so I've changed the method to manual I've assigned my port an IP address of uh, 192.168.1.20 net mask of uh, 24 or you can put 255.255.255.0 um, click on gateway I didn't really care about that and I clicked save uh, you can either uh, disconnect uh, or reconnect from the connection or unplug the cable plug it back in and then you should be able to ping 192.168.1.10 of the E200 and once you got that done um, you should be able to uh, do UHD find devices and find that particular ANT SDR E3 or uh, E200. And so once you've done that, you're good to go. Uh, where in the past, I think I have shown probably the Edis B205, uh, maybe even to some extent the uh, the Hacker F doing this fast analysis of LTE control channels. And so all we're going to do is decode uh, the, the the physical downlink control channel, and uh, you can just see the number of devices. Uh, nothing unique uh, to those devices. I wouldn't be doing that, obviously. And then, um, really, what the intent of this is is just to observe. Uh, you know, you could probably just like it says, you could see if there's any congestion on the networks, and and just more of like a uh, uh, a, a tool to um, like it says um, monitor for. Uh, yeah, mobile network uh, data analytics. So, all right. So let's see. Um, to get this set up, I'm just gonna give myself a a second here. I've got uh, a uh, alarm going off. <laughs> okay. So to get this set up, we're gonna go into first doing a quick survey and so you can go to user source SRS ran uh, build lib examples and there is a shortcut under the uh, start menu here under other that will take you right to this directory uh, this I probably should have or could have maybe in the future I'll show a mod mode map it is it, kind of like a modified way of doing this uh, search uh, but I'm going to just do, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to do cell search dash B. I'm going to do 12, which is a, a, a band for AT&T. And just to show, okay, so we can use the E200 with this. Uh, I suppose I could have 
raise the net core WM max and RM max. So while it's doing that, I'll just go ahead and get rid of these complaints. Okay, and the other one was WM max. This is just a temporary change of this setting. Okay, and let's go down. So we can see that, um, now that might not have been good to do that while it was running. Let's start this over again. And so what we're doing now is a cell search on band 12 and I want to look for the specific frequencies of some base stations here or of the cells so let's see so I'll let it find a few you can see it's got the uh, frequencies but when I hit control C it'll put it in a nice neat uh, way that we can uh, get what we need to move on to Falcon so yeah it's probably um, you know a better idea to set those settings that I did obviously before you start using the, the radio I'm just going to let it run to completion. And so at the end of it, we can see we have a couple uh, different cells that it has found. So let me move that out to the side. And again, there's a shortcut to get to this Falcon, but I like, or to start it anyways, but I like to just go direct here. So we'll go to build, source, and GUI. So user source, Falcon build, source, GUI. Okay and we're looking for Falcon GUI. I've really never pointed out uh, in any of the videos there is some command line tools uh, I need to get around to that where you can capture and then offline decode and stuff so that's pretty unique. I'm just going to use the online uh, Falcon GUI. Now when you first start it it's not going to come up looking exactly like this because some of these uh, uh, tabs are not going to be on. I just go through so I'm just going to turn them on just so I can see everything that's going on I also went under options advanced uh, which brought up a um, this different diff option I just turned them all on save settings is on when you first start this up use file as source will be checked well we don't want to use file source so I've unchecked that and then the 731.5 I've got in here, I've hit enter so it actually inputs it and accepts it. Let me widen this out a little bit. I didn't change anything else as far as like a decoding. You can you know, use the, the, uh, the cell ID. I just have 50 in there. You see the PHY ID. I just have 50 in there I think is the default and uh, it seems to be fine. I've not changed anything else. So, Okay. Um, and the, and the good thing about having opening it with the um, this way is once you hit start you can kind of see what's going on behind the scenes so okay I know it's using the NSDR it's gonna look it's gonna search for their cells and I can see it found that one that 112 right here so that's fine and so now I am looking at that in uh, real time as far as uh, the actual you know equipment on it the uplink downlink um, yeah so uplink and downlink spectrums I'm gonna guess the spec diff is is the difference between the two uh, and then uh, as far as your downlink allocations uh, anything else I can show so cell activity you can change uh, how long um, let's see as far as I think how long the history goes 
back on that, or the average, sorry, the average there. Table update interval. And let's see, histogram. Yeah, I'm not sure about. Interesting. So yeah, th that was a really short, simple one, but it shows that the E200 can use this tool as well as obviously the SRN um, example tools that I that I showed there. So, all right, uh, fairly simple video. Uh, I'm going to build on this and hopefully get around to showing a crocodile hunter again, or preferably if I could figure it out, uh, just doing kind of like a, a heat map uh, of the area here based on a, a specific uh, P25 phase one tower that I know is uh, close by and uh, I think it would be unique to show uh, some tool driving around doing a heat map. Alright so anyways I uh, hope this is helpful. Uh, yeah. Alright. Have a good one.